crack of my, <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> crack of my boomer, my boomer soda. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah uh, that's a good one right there. So, Garbo, when was the last time? I don't think we've ever actually complained about Games Workshop together, like properly, because it's been a long time since they've actually like Wizards of the Coast has been dominating when it comes to just terrible decision making. Being cringe, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like you know what? I am so done with Wizards that like unless it's like something like insane that they come off with, I am just not talking about them anymore. I just don't want to talk about them. And honestly, Games Workshop have been in people's good books for the last while because you know, like okay. So, well, they've been in the okay books, to say the least. Well, if you look at them from like Here's what they were like way. in like in like twenty fourteen ish, if I remember correctly, and it was in around fourteen fifteen, they really had no online presence. Like they were not doing. There was so much stuff that they weren't doing. Like the, they the shut down the forums. <laughs> yeah, they shut down the forums. They white dwarf wasn't even a thing. There was a load of stuff that just wasn't about online, and that's where a lot of the older like gore channels actually got like really really big because there just wasn't that much online at the time uh i don't want to get too much into this well it took but, actual uh, study you had to go and actually read yeah. books and study the lore yeah. as a fan yeah yeah you did it was a, it was a very different time so now, it was well, and it, you know, that's that's not that long ago yeah and neither of us are excusing gw's all other ham-fisted bullshit they pulled gw has always been a rather it happened to get over it kind of company yeah. where hey this happened well how'd that happen uh, fucking buy the model bigot you know it's kind of <laughs> yeah it's kind of just been like yeah. it happened deal with it fuck you by product and that's that, that's one of the ones that did me in personally like i stopped so i was really big into playing pretty k and then i just what did it for me was seventh edition whenever they cut Eldor Corsairs. It was a Forge World army, and I was playing Dark Eldor, and they brought out Eldor Corsairs, and they were perfect. They were exactly how I wished Dark Eldor played yeah, at yeah, the yeah. time. Um, everything had jump packs, everything was really quick, they had access, they could had way more customization with their princes and stuff. They were just a really fun army to play, and I really enjoyed them. And I spent a lot of money um, getting a full army together. Like I must have spent about maybe 5000 over the course of mm, about maybe four or five months, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I, I banged that out, and I was not making a lot of money back then, guys. Just put that out there. Like, you know, I was not making that much money. And uh, that really burnt me, so it did personally. And ever since then, I, 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 I I've, I've, I've just been fully putting. You know what I mean? That's all I can say. I, I don't really saying people are saying, "Oh, well, look, their stocks going up." I don't think that's reflecting what's coming up. I think, they, 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 because they say, "Well, look at the 14th; it was still going up." I think that's reflecting only the pre fall. There is a lot. There is a lot of stuff going on right now, especially with the Middle East that I'm sure everyone knows more than enough about. But we're not going to talk about that because these, oh, look, George, so the San folk are killing each other again. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what I do want to say is now think of it. Like like this why are they making these changes i think it's not because of the alphabet people i really believe that one of the main reasons why games workshop wants to do this is because they want a tv show and they are very very scared from presenting 40k the way 40k it should is be. <laughs> yeah because like there's loads of rumors and stuff i've heard people say that like games workshop building nottingham is like the nazi building for instance you know what i mean mm, like a lot of not. normies yeah like that that is a thing and you know what there's a lot of fans that don't help in that matter at <laughs> all <laughs> let's not try and get ourselves you know let's not try and get ourselves it, you know what that kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of like sam hyde memes uh -huh. you know where sam hyde's great and i think he's hilarious but his fans do him no justice by making him connected to every single <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's that's not oh, helping sam hyde. Not that's not that's not going to help him not be banned from everywhere do you know what i mean mm. and i feel like the same way and i feel like they want that amazon show and they have to try and clean up their image am i happy about that no i think it's the worst thing they could possibly have done i think they should have just went for it because people love 40k the way it is now also something i really want to point out as well i'm not up to speed with new 40k lore. i feel like for me peak warhammer was third edition because i feel like loot leader is kind of wacky it's very different second edition is starting to really find his feet but
but third edition to me is and I, I know you guys are going to be like well James you're only saying that because that's when you started to get in to 40k and you were a child so of course you got the nostalgia going and yeah you're right to a certain extent but it just had that grim dark that I love and look I don't want to talk you know what I'm not going to talk about World War 1 this video okay guys but you guys can see the connection of why I love World War 1 so much and why I love Warhammer 40k so much there's a lot of connections and I just and I feel like I've seen this talked about before could 40k have been made by Americans and I don't think they could have well I'm, I'm it, it would have been different it would have been way different say, it would have been it would have been Starship Clippers you know there's a lot more I think that you could have similarities but you need to have that miserable Anglo outlook on life does that make sense like you know I think that that's a very miserable Anglo, out, Anglo outlook that's a phrase yeah that is the only way and you know what can I I want to just lead in to can we go for what Glenn Jim has said because I feel like his yeah, take sure. is one of the best or you know what okay let's let's leave and then there's what Grimsaurus right oh yeah yeah well I've got it up here on my screen so do, but no you know what we'll we'll lead what they put out first okay, okay. we'll leave so what they put out and yeah yeah so custody whatever so, your name is so basically you know some guy said why did you make female custodies and they said on their official page since the first of the ten thousand were created there have always been female custodians and it's oh. just it's patently wrong according to the canonized law <laughs> well, according to the rest of the book <laughs> you know what i mean like in the same book they say yeah the custodians are descendants of the um well they're not descendants but they are the um the lords of tara's <laughs> infant children well like they because 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 like because like, i've seen the screenshots and i get that sometimes people confuse men for the military nomenclature oh my men means my troopers yeah because for the longest time i mean let's be fair here most soldiers were uh men yeah. uh so it's kind of a so since they say my men will fight to the end he means my yeah. my troopers my soldiers but this is not that military nomenclature it says you know that it is known that all custodians begin their lives as the infant sons of the noble houses of Terra. And it says again, um, notable clans amongst the Terran aristocracy have willingly given up almost entire generations of newborn sons to earn it. Like, this yeah. is, it's, it's one of those things where it's called like the Brotherhood of the Demigods, you know? So... I feel... One of the things that I really don't want to do with this video is I don't want to get bogged down in the minutia in the... And, and it's not minutia by any means, but I feel like that's what I've seen a lot of people talk about, and I want to try and go over that uh, as quick as I can, because, you know, again, it's one of those ones we have to bring it up, but I don't feel like it's the heart of the argument. Does that make sense? I feel like the heart of the argument really is, honestly, I feel like what Grimm has put down is the true heart of the argument. So do you want to go for this one here? Oh, uh, yeah. So... The law and other questions about female custodies or astartes aren't that relevant. People should instead look at the aesthetic. The Imperium of Man is not meant to be an, an egalitarian or fair society of equality and fairness, despite the fact that women have a lot of major roles or can possess major roles in the military. You know, there's there's female yeah. tech priests, female inquisitors, female, yeah. you know, commissars. Female they're, they're there. There's female everything. Yeah. It's just on space planes. And again, one of the one of the other ones I really want to put, point out there is I do not consider space marines or custodies actually human. They're ab, I, they're, they're ab humans, really. They're I, I I I I consider them to me. They're I I think transhuman would be how I would describe them. And um, ironic they are, phrasing. Yeah, I know, I know, but it is the best way to describe them. I oh, don't yeah. think. They're well, they, they they they've been changed beyond the point of being human. They're they're now something else. No. Yeah, yeah, they but, really uh, are. He says, it's futile, it's dark. The question it asks is, what is justified in the face of annihilation? It's a theocratic theocracy in a society engaged in total war. So does this modernist egalitarian have a place in the Imperium? No, it breaks the aesthetic thrust of the setting and faction. It doesn't support and emphasize the unfairness and cruelty or the religious overtones of the setting. These militaristic orders are meant to echo the Knights, the Knights Marshal, Teutonic, Cot Knights, Hospitallers, Order of St. James, Templars, etc. They are, they are monastic, ascetic orders, battle brothers. Furthermore, there are factions, heroes, etc. that do break gender expectations, but as individuals, just as in the real world, history is being echoed. The Sisters of Battle are an all-female fa all female fighting force. I wouldn't call it a faction. It's, yeah. it's an all-female military fighting wing, for one. Yeah. And one that delightfully tweaks the nose of of of, of a legalistic theology. I, 
that legalistic that theological the, interpretation yeah and that is one of the best bits because it's so 40k yeah it's so 40k it's like oh you're not allowed to have any men under arms oh really then <laughs> literally literally pulls up helmet i am no man motherfucker they got us you know it's, yeah it's, it's like, like, it, honestly you know the thing is the other bit that fucking pisses me off is i love sisters of battle i was so i was holding out hope that about classic sisters of battle i wanted so fucking badly for so fucking long but it was quite it was about a year and a half after games workshop had pulled that shit on me and by that point i had just been like you know what i'm not no even though i really i i still would love a sister's battle army well you know because i feel like I'm aesthetic i you know look look i'm catholic don't blame me okay i find them fucking well, i think they're really cool well, it's funny because I, I, I have these models and i don't understand how the 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 the, the, the uh, gives workshop store page painted them so ugly dude like these are these, yes like i'm looking at one right I, now I and they have really beautiful faces and somehow they made them complete drag queens in their uh, store page uh, and I get, like, I, again, that's something we're going to get into, I'm sure, about the whole, let's be serious, if you had female custodians or female space marines, they are, because again, they are transhuman, and look at how much of their gene seed is taken from their primarks. Now, according look to the tumors, they're gene. like, oh yeah, big most, like, and, and the, 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 this is me going, okay, you, you can't say, oh I, yay, what, big muscle mommies to help, like, soften the blow of you, ruining of canon. What do you call the super mutant from Fallout 3? You know the one you can have as companion? Oh, well, no, the fucking flower Fox. Hat? Yeah, fo Fox was well, so it or something? I think it's Fox, yeah. That, that, that sounds... Yeah, like... um, I, I can't remember. Sorry, guys, it's been a while since I've played Fallout 3. That's a woman, by the way. Well, it's a big ass. Well, it's a big ass fucking mutant, <laughs> it's a, man. Yeah, it's a big ass mutant, and you know what? Speech means are the same thing. Yeah. Um, and also, I'm just. You know what? Can we just put it down that Gene Seed is stored in the balls, guys? Okay. Gene store. <laughs> gene Seed is 100 percent stored in the balls. <laughs> yeah. I got like, I I a that huge means. Gene Seed leak. One second. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, okay, let's, yeah. let's keep going. Let's finish off, um, uh, and then we'll jump into a load of our arguments that we've seen online. All so, right. a similar result could have been achieved by placing greater prominence on the Sisters of Silence rather than... Yeah, that's what I said, too. You, you, like, yeah. just, the, the, now, you want huge muscle mommies. It's the Sisters of Silence, and they're they're yeah. there. They've been there for a long time. And that's a big sin that Game Workshop does. They'll just completely shadow over entire awesome things and just ass-pull some half-baked idea and, and call it a day that that's what they fucking did with sisters of battle and i think that's where they fucked them sisters of battle are have always been used as oh this is a serious threat because we can't have the space queens getting their heads kicked in that only happens like every now and again like crimson fists they got their heads kicked in blood ravens they have to team up with fucking necrons you know what i mean like yeah. it does happen but very very largely normally if there's something bad happening and they don't want to go too hard they'll just be like okay just use sisters of battle we'll we'll, we'll We'll, we'll call a loot of them, and there we go. There we know that the threat is strong enough because you expect the guard to get their heads kicked in. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of guard, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the guard get their heads kicked in. That's part of the setting, but they just drag through, and eventually they will win. But it's like, oh, yeah, 50 billion guardsmen died on this planet. It's like, well. Who cares? Is that not like kind of? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of normal. But whenever you kill like a few hundred thousand sisters battle, oh my god, this is this is a serious threat. We have to take this seriously, and I feel like that's one of the biggest issues. Also, you know what? Can I just put it out here? Um, I, I I've never liked the idea of chapters only being a thousand marines. Honestly, it's, they should be it's, ten thousand. It is extremely okay. unneeded handicap on it's, our it's, level. It's, it's just such a small number. I find now don't get me wrong, in lore space queens are fucking gods, quite literally. Um, you know, I really do buy into the name um, Angels of Death because that is what they are. There's no other way to describe them. They are super fucking OP, to say the least. However, you know, the problem is we've got a tabletop game and you can't really do that in a tabletop game unless you're gonna have like 50 billion guardsmen models. Um but again, that's just the way a war game has to work you know what i mean um look let's finish this off there's one other thing that um grim puts in here and i really want to touch on and i feel like it's one of the most important parts of all this 
So he says, uh, they should have achieved this by placing greater prominence on the Sisters of Silence rather than be headbutting this particular hornet's nest. After all, for every monk, there's a nun. People shrieking sexist, etc. are also missing the mark. It's easier to shriek and point rather than to understand so much for empathy as a value. Ultimately, this is just going to harm yet another company pandering to people who mostly aren't their main customer base. Sooner or later, you'd think someone would figure that out. Well, you know, you would think that. You would. So one that. of the one of the things that I really want to go back to is the idea of battle brothers and stuff like this. What is some of the main themes of 40k? And this is what I really love with Grim Jim's post. I, it made me think more about the themes and not like the oh well, it says here we can't use men. It's women can't use. It's like well, okay, you know, look, it, it feels like theme to me is more important, you know. And I suppose you're going to have people shite and people like James. No, it needs to be like this. It's like to me. The all guardsman party is canon. Does that make sense? Because it fits. <laughs> it made, j- there's lots of stuff in 40k that to me is head canon. All right. And I'm sorry, guys, but it's just the way I think. I suffer the same way whenever I'm reading about history, right? There's a go- there's so many examples about human history where we've got these amazing, elaborate stories about people. And then we've got other stories. It's like, well, that's probably the way that happens. But in my head, cannot I like to believe that this was the way that it happened. Does that make sense? You know, uh, it, it happens. I'm not going to get too bogged into it because I feel like I'm just going to go on and on and on. But let's go into the main themes of 40k. What is the biggest tragedy of the Imperium? It's the Emperor being a terrible father. And that's <laughs> really... And I, every I single that... Primarch daddy issues. Yes, yeah, definitely a good start. Yeah. And that's no, but that is, and it's the it's the bond between father and son that is so important to. And I feel like this is just something that's not even like talked about at all. But it's something that I feel like should be talked about. And I feel like it's one of the biggest Greek tragedies of 40k. Does that does that make sense? You know, well, and- I mean, that's only a, a touching stone on this. I mean, the the bit the bit to me the biggest theme of 40k is that you mean nothing in the greater image of the setting where there's this ever looming gigantic threat and every single race is fighting for survival in the Milky Way. And, yeah. you know, cause I sent you some of these pictures like, Oh my God, gay custodies. That means fucking nothing. <laughs> when you are simply one battle away. We don't care if you're gay. Well, <laughs> the thing is like, like, like bro, no one cares that you're gay. We're all going to fucking die. Like that's the I, theme. The theme is you mean nothing. If we have one bad battle, we are fucking dead done like yeah like look, 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 all i'm saying is let's look at fucking katie one bad battle one bad battle one bad battle and and, and, you'll, and a fucking you lose one planet. literally you got, you got remember like i picture the 40k imperium as a giant castle and they lost their fucking front gate at Cadia, and now yeah. and, and, and now your fucking front door is open but like mm-hmm. people just forget that the game or the, the setting is not about the individual it's about the whole mass it's why it's all yeah. bound in like uh, the iron chains of religion because it keeps everything together and everyone on point and makes sure they know this is why we do this. If we don't do this, we're all going to fucking die. And, and that is one of the things that I feel like, especially with them bringing uh, like the Primarchs back, that's one of the, I feel like when it comes to new 40 k lore, I just haven't been, I just I just don't read it because I... It, it well, frankly, it's shit. Like, like, like I've gone yeah, in well, and I read the TLDRs and I read pages that people pull out for me. And I was like, "Hey, you can say that." Oh, well, James, you're not you're not a little fan then anymore. It's like, well, okay, yeah, I'm not. Um, it's been years since I've bought a GW product. It's been a long time since I've actually like read any 40k book. I, well, I, the, I, the thing I, is, I mean, the, the best 40k content is not coming out of Games Workshop. It's coming out of those who are fans of the franchise. The Astarte series was crushing the cock off of Games Workshop. And that was was made by one dude who's a fucking super fan. You know, and like, like, you know, like this fucking dipshit on Twitter. Like, hey man, we're your models, man. Like, (laughs) you you don't have to post your models every day going, see, see, I'm a fan, please, I'm one of you. You don't have to do that, all right? There's there's no need for it. Well, there is different. I th- I do think when it comes to 40k, there's different tiers of fans. Oh, of personally. course, of course there are. There there like, are fans I, who just I, like. So I want to tell you, you know, well, there, there are just tiers. There's, just, there's there's the whale. All right, this buys everything. The super fan would suck Games Workshop's cock if it had one. Just fucking slurp, oh, yeah. slurp. Take my wallet, whales. And yeah, from there, there, yeah, and from there, there are guys who just. 
it's what? so bad. GW can't never do any long. Uh, they're oh, the yeah. worst. I, I just can't be dealing with those ones at all. You know, keep going, keep going. You but go for but there are fans who just like the setting. They don't want to play the game. Yeah. They don't want to play the video. They just love the setting. And they read yeah. the books. I, I, they, 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 they read, you know, blurbs. They study the lore because they find it just really interesting. Yeah. I feel like I'm in that category now. I used to be. I used to be playing it, and I used to be painting, and I used to have tons of. I, I, honestly, it was Eighth Edition coming out fucked me up, and then I was honestly ever since I've had Aussie, I just do not have the time to be painting. Like I used to paint every night, so I did. Mm. Like you know, I, and you know what, painting was the best thing for me because all, I find painting really well. That brings in the next tier. That brings in the hobbyists, yeah. people who just like the models. Like, hey, this is a cool fucking yeah. model. I want to paint this, and then go in. Also, and that's the best part. I also do think uh, for me, it wasn't even painting; it was the modeling aspect. Mm. See, like making conversions and like you know using green stuff and all that. That that's my favorite aspect. Honestly, that was the bit that really that that just ticked my tism. Do you know what I mean? Like, that just that's ticked the my that, tism. Yeah. It says. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's the bit for me. That well, I the think thing that is, it's favorite. really fun. Painting models is fun. Yeah. You go out and you meet people, and there are people who paint at the game store with other painters yeah. and modelers, and they don't play the game they just like the social aspect and the hobby aspect again yeah. you know you can be a fan in your own right at any level that makes you a fan you have to be you know in the fact they're going out here and you have these fucking rainbow warriors which is ironic because that's actually a chapter um the fact they're actually yeah, right, right. try, try, try to do like fucking gestapo paper checks ah uh, so where are your papers uh, do, are you a real fan where's your models it's some of the most cringy retarded bullshit I've ever seen in my life yeah. like they're like you guys are nazis now show me your so you cannot be a fan it's just it's like like you don't understand that you are the like you are the idiot here in this fucking situation do you, do you understand that uh unironically uh the imperium of man are probably not the good guys but they're the best out of the lot that we've got does that make any sense like they are pushed to the point of anything goes you know when you're at total war i'm sorry but like there is no room for this quality business well, we don't there, have time. There, there is no we room are. for you to be happy to be gay we're glad you're gay yeah. please fight or we're all gonna die honestly you wouldn't uh, i would argue it'd be kind of like starship clippers where you the idea of romantic interest like well you know you should be probably, like fighting and worshiping the emperor instead you should be fucking killing like bugs really... and tow there friend yeah. I mean, we're, we're glad you you found your true self but we're being invaded and you gotta put your armor back yeah. on right we don't we don't really have time for any of that type of stuff uh, i'm sure i again and i'm again like oh also, let's be serious. I'm not gonna lie. Let's be like the Catholicism, like overtones of the Imperium of Man, and with Slanesh being an actual little thing. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, like as far as I'm aware, they've never written anything about homosexuality or any of that sort of stuff. So I don't know. Maybe don't they have. Me. Maybe they have. Maybe I'm completely out there. But honestly, I. I the chances of getting done for heresy is pretty high. Not gonna lie, probably be confused with some Sganeshi cult. Let's just put that out there, you know. Yeah, and you know, it's just like because if you ask any actual fan, they don't like. You see a lot of these detractors going, "Well, you just hate women." No, it's the fact it was done with so little care. That, that's the one that, that that that's the one that gets me the most. You <clears> just hate women. Uh, you know, and, and, and that's one of the ones that actually, like, it doesn't annoy me that much because the people that say that to me, I just know are fucking, like, there's something not quite right with them. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't really want to argue with, like, mentally ill that much because, like, you know, what's what's the point? And I've said this like, quite a few times, and I consider, like, MGTOW and stuff to be feminism for men, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I think, like, you know, men and women, yeah, we're very, very different, but we complement each other's abilities. You know what I mean? I'll tell you like, what, I want to goddamn yeah, female yeah. nurse to that good fucking mind shit it's 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 look it's a yin and yang we need like you know for a healthy society to thrive men and women need to get along and then there's no ifs or buts about that and you know what we're having a lot of fucking issues in this day and age because men and women aren't getting along <laughs> i don't know what else, well, i don't mean, know what else i mean you say that but like there are women fans of 40 characters oh, yeah. are going like this fucking sucks because yeah. if you really want to put in female representation in a game i get that you want your female fans to feel represented okay. but you can do it in a less ham-fisted way and like i like i posted yeah. a while ago they failed to do the they did the who but they did what when why where and how they forgot that like they put in okay but you know what george put a female name and call it a day and that's not yeah. how you do it. You have, to, you have to say or explain how this thing came to be when the canon states all of these certain checkpoints. Yeah. 
you know and you have these in you know and like and you have these people who are, who are basically you, you deflecting by saying you hate women you hate women but when oh, a, but, that, but when a woman but, but when a female player says i don't like this they're, they're called a pick me <laughs> yeah I've seen that. yeah that's all that woman that yeah funny, that's though. a pick men zan occurs and she and, she, yeah. and it was like, like this is good for female players i'm a female player and i don't like this fucking pick me like it's just like and it's 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 well, it's, you know it, well, it's wild how you obviously have, no she's obviously an incel garbage well no no you, you have these no, guys other players going hey this is good good for women but hey you woman shut your fucking mouth you know anything you know it's 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 weird yeah. it's it's just it's, it's like do they understand that they're being like not even could ironic it, but just like just sad at this point like could, could it be that the people that like to use the word incel the most tend to be oh, people that bro. actually genuinely don't make women <laughs> hers <laughs> so this curse chip was going in and finding these people's like irl picks and bruh she was fucking toasting yeah. people like just one was like literally like l literally a, a soy jack with like really thin yeah. arms and like holding the cat she goes yeah that fuck she goes she goes yeah that fucking checks out <laughs> yeah. well, i'm not gonna post any of that i'm not i'm not, I'm not gonna put any of that in the video but you guys can you guys can look for, look for that stuff yourself all right you guys yeah, here, can here go, go on twitter and just <laughs> look yourself and let us know what you <laughs> let us know what you think um so there you go there you go <laughs> oh my god that's not real she goes that's, looks exactly how as i would expect <laughs> oh my god that is that has to be a party that has to be a part no way no if, what art imitates life got little sweet jack fuck off mate <laughs> yeah like <laughs> like it's just like it's just so it's just so on the nose and you have you have games workshop blocking these female fans which to me oh, is very yeah. telling like it's odd to go well your female fans are mad so you block them huh interesting oh, like i i honestly to go back to it i think the main reason why gw is doing this i don't think they're doing this for like any virtue signal per se well maybe they could be to a certain extent i think the main thing is to try and clean it up for normies so they can get an uh get like an amazon show that's honestly what i believe is what the, the main purpose as to why they're doing this like that that's what i see anyway even though they could have just done it anyway because let's be serious people are fucking starved for like a good fucking shit. Well, a lot of people are saying that that Fallout's very good, but I haven't watched it, so I don't know shit about that. I'm letting them all come out. I, 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 I like it in fucking show hold. So I like them all to go, like, put out 10, then I'll watch. I can just binge them, like a, like a little retard. Yeah. But, I think uh, I'll do that. Well, well, I've, I've heard good things, though. I've, I've heard a lot of people say to me, it's like, James, it's very good, but I've also seen other places online saying it's dog shit, so I don't really know. I don't want to talk about that. And, like, but you guys get it. Like, you know, if... Jesus Christ, look what they did to my boy, Lord of the Rings, for God's sake. Yeah. You know, what the, you massacred my boy. You look know? at my boy, look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Well, so and, you know, for far, far, I forget, a lot of people are actually blaming BlackRock for what Games Workshop is doing. It's kind of a meme now, but people are saying that BlackRock is making Games Workshop jump through these fucking hoops. And has Black, has BlackRock bought over a lot of Games Workshop stock, have they? I'm, I'm not really tracking that, but I, 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 I saw the whole BlackRock thing this morning while I was taking a shit. I was like, a lot of BlackRock beans right now with 40k. That's pretty odd. And it's. Oh, that it would explain a lot. It would explain a lot. But you, you know, know, let's be serious. <laughs> but the biggest thing is the lack of care, in my opinion. Like, yeah. before, before we go any further, it's just an extreme lack of care that they've been doing forever now. It's it's been yeah. with multiple uh, multiple subjects. They just had the extreme lack of care with creation and writing. When you have a lore that spans from what 1993 or some shit, like this thing, it's, it's old old yeah. lore. Like, since like well when 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 did like i wouldn't call Rogue trader i would honestly say second edition no um, rogue trader is part of I mean, this when we started getting canonized but like games workshop opened in 1978 apparently uh, yeah second edition came out in 1993 so it did so it's one games of those workshop things where a lot longer though like games workshop was like Lutzer yeah itself. well yeah they, they're saying they're open in 1978 so they're, they're making other games and stuff but you know the, the 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 lore they've written has had a few issues. You know, I like to bring up that that Eldar librarian because I think it's pretty fun. Um, yeah. Honestly, and honestly, that was that was, was kind of cool having a half Eldar librarian. I quite like that. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was, like, that's neat. But and you know what, like, like Eldar and 
humans do work together on occasion. They do not like each other. They do not trust each other. But again, whenever, like, you know, for lack of a better word, the greater good, it does happen. Yeah, uh, it like... It has happened before. And, like, a lot of people shit themselves whenever Necrons did it, because that is out of character for them. Like, the Necrons. But again, I... I'm more into like old Necron lore the, where the metal like, space yeah. boomers yeah like oh what do yeah. you want while you're on my lawn yeah, yeah I kind of I never got into new Necron lore personally so you know that's a thing so I'm talking out of my hole when, I, when I'm when i talking about this sort of stuff sorry guys it's just the way I am okay I've, I've you know what in, in a lot of terms I am technically on like a generational scale I'm a very very young millennial but I feel like when it comes to a lot of like sci-fi stuff I'm I, I, I've just got a boomer mindset, and I'll, I'll be sweet up about it. I feel like I'm, I feel like a boomer w- with a lot of these issues, you know. Um, but here, look, where do you want to take this? Where do you want to go next? Do you want to bring up? So I posted this on the community tab. If you want to go sort by new, sure, sure. And we can go down that and see what some boys have been saying. I mean, and this was one guy said Bud Light, and I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, like he's not yeah. wrong. If you I mean because you have an like basically, if you know you have an established fan base who's paying your bills, you don't piss off the established fan base as much as you can. I mean, you you'll fumble the, you you'll fumble the bag sometimes. All companies do. God knows I do, yeah. but you don't be malicious when you do it either. You 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 want to weigh and measure what the story needs, what the game needs, what your fan need so like one of the biggest things i feel like as well that hasn't been talked about is what year we're in how many other things have happened see if they decided to add the idea of female custodies or female marines in like the early 2000s well, I don't they feel they like many, well it, it just wouldn't have been half big of a deal though I feel like I feel like, well, especially like, where we are now, e- e- it's just the world's changed. Well, no, even then, a f- you know we, we've said this before already, but I won't say it again because fuck it. A female space marine would be a giant hulking man with pretty lips. It, 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 would, it, would, yeah. it would cease to be the thing, you, you know, because because also y- y- explain to me how this because we know more about the space marine selection phase than the custodies one. Yeah, the space marine selection phase takes a cream of the crop of recruits. And yeah. nearly Most all of them die. die. Yeah. So like, explain like me. So, so how built different is a woman that she makes it through a selection process that kills most of the men and they become a space brain? Like how? Like how, like where the fuck is it? A Cadian woman? Like how? Or not Cadian? Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, which you got on. shit um is, is she a fucking catachin woman like how, oh, how, yeah. like, like, how the Honestly, hell that, that would be one of the only counts i feel like that could make a female space brain and even then yeah like that's literally like you, 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 have, you have olga who's like oh yeah i'll be space marine you know yeah and, 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 like and they I, fail to explain certain things it's just, I to be look let's just go into it let's just see what boys are saying about it um i go i, I like looking through to see what you guys actually have to fucking say about this instead of fucking the mentally ill on twitter you know what i mean like, we just know what they, you know what they're gonna be I, saying I, I, the one here you know I mean? not happy the shame to see them bend the knee to the message <laughs> yeah that, you know what that is i think that's the biggest point though for me personally again i feel like on the surface and you know what? This is one of the biggest problems we have is on the surface, someone that isn't interested in 40k, if you turned around and said to them, oh yeah, they made this big change in this like fandom. Um, yeah, it used to be there was no women that could become Marines or Space Marines or whatever. And a lot of people would be like, oh, okay, well, okay, well, why not? You know, and that's because they don't know the lore. They don't understand that they're not in, you know what I mean? They're just not that interested in it. And the thing so, is, like, there and, is... It's very easy. It's very, but it's very easy for an outsider to be like, "Oh yeah, you just hate women. That's what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. yeah." The no, thing it is, must- the, the other thing is that the reason why men are chosen for because you got to put all those extra organs into the body cavity. Yeah. So that's that's that's, 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 that's my new lore thing. But what I was point like, they, they, there has to be room in that body to put all the extra shit in there. <laughs> well, all I'm like, I'm just going to go back on Gene Steed is stored in the balls. So therefore, I'm sorry, man. Like, it's just, it's just not happening. Uh, that's my personal um, headcanon lore. Um, also, like, you know, like the Imperium is not good at science. Let's, let's just put that out there. They are not good at it. Um, they don't really understand. Well, I'm sure some of them do understand what they're doing, but for the most part, they're working just on fucking templates. You know Honestly, I, mean? I think that's just bad writing, to be frank with you. Like, I, I'm, I'm hit or miss with it. I do feel like, I do love the idea of lost technology. Well, you yes. know, uh, I love that. I do think that's definitely a thing. They were, they were men once. 
<laughs> oh my god, I might use that as a thumbnail. I might use that as a thumbnail on a stream ad. Where are they? Um, they were men once. <laughs> There's a different version of that meme that I've seen, uh, but I can't really talk about that on YouTube. Maybe on Gumblue, maybe yeah. on Gumblue I could talk about that. Uh, look, let's, let's just keep going. I feel like it's... It, it, we're in current year, and I don't want to turn into your man, uh, Baby Cakes, or whatever the fuck you call him, Baby Face, or baby you know that guy that you, you remember that guy a few months back that went into a fucking meltdown over Poo Nines in Star Fox, or not Star Fox? Was that um, Beth the game this that came out? Either way, the guy had a full that boom meltdown, and it went like quite viral, and a lot of people were taking the piss out of him for just blowing out better in proportion. But I feel like we are just at that point where people are just getting really, really tired of this being thrown at us time and time again, and we know what the outcome is. It, this isn't something that's new, you know. This isn't something that has just came out of nowhere. Oh, this, is this guy, been... right, right, right. Hold on, I'll get his name real quick. Um baby heel face or something i can't remember it's uh, he's basically a giant bald white dude who just like yeah, yeah. he's english so he is. who needs um, to he, honestly eat better food because holy fuck you, you you got awesome bags going on anyway go ahead um yeah well what do you expect he's going on fucking what do you call Rape them oil, uh, mon- no 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 munchie boxes from the kebab shop oh yeah you know <laughs> 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 you know, a pure, pure North FC genetic like there. He he is what would make, he is the only, sometimes I'm like, you know what, can we do a parody of this, Garpu? Like, you know, what type of human does it take to make a, G, like a Marine? So like, what type of genetics do you need to have in place to be like a redneck Marine, for instance? Or like a North <laughs> FC Marine? Like, what, what is it that you need? Like, you know, to, What's on a helmet? Skulls like, oh, fucking goals. Goals, yeah. Oh. Oh, I mean, no, stop it. I, we're, we're, we'll work on that maybe down the road. I mean, I'm, I'm having too many ideas recently, and I'm having too much fun with them. So let's just keep going. So, yeah, like, like, like one guy here says, I think they'll release a model, it'll sell terribly, and then this will be quietly forgotten. To be honest, they are saying that there have always been female custodians, but in the last 12,000 years, only one of them has done something even remotely noteworthy. Yeah, why are they trying to gaslight us as well, the way they said it? Oh, yeah, they've always been here. Since... When you dickheads, <laughs> it's like I, I love that idea of just trying to gaslight people and <laughs> being like, No, they've always been here, guys. What are you on? No, 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 they've definitely been here. They've definitely been here. You know what? All I can say is, see, when it comes to all this, I hope enough people do cancel their Warhammer Plus subscriptions because that's what made Wizards of the Coast fucking bend over backwards. It's what made them turn I back on the pirate their shit, so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna fucking pay Games Workshop a penny, especially since they've already fucked me over. I'm 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 out of the club. They already they already did me dirty. You know they they've already dumped me over. I don't care. I feel like Sisters of Silence are gonna get sidelined even more than they already have. Yeah. Well, I like if you want to have if you want to spotlight your female troop choices, you can. I mean, you could have done a Sisters of Silence book, a Sisters of Silence mm-hmm. um, feature page. Like, hey, not good enough, Garbo. Not good enough. Well, it's we no no. See that that that. that that's far better than saying, yeah, there have always been female custodians, period. And then that's it. Like, oh, yeah, you you, you female players, you've always been here. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks there, dear. You know, it, at that yeah. point, it's, it's, it's just it's pandering. It'd be like if I went and said, oh, yeah, there have always been six transvestite veil riders. They've always been there. You know, people are like, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about, you dickhead? Like, like you can't, you, you can't just say, oh, yeah, because literally in the first book, I made sure to to include female veil, veil riders on, like like on the jump, like there was a like there was like a uh, machine gun team who were all female in the very first Bell Rider book in the very first couple chapters, and be like if I wrote like let's say let's say I wrote sixteen books and I went oh, oh yeah the, 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 there's always been a a a, a uh, transvestite drag queen in the Bell Riders, be like what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about like because because I'll have yeah, sixty man. books like you didn't mention this bitch once and she's always been there like I think you would have mentioned her if she was actually in there you know it's it's, it's that kind of shit and they did the exact <laughs> yeah, same thing oh no no they've always been here yeah, yeah they've always no, been here no, yeah no don't worry about that yeah no they're in there um don't don't know don't know what you're all about just 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 uh, carry on carry on just carry buy on. a product get excited for <clears> the next product that's what that's that's what did me in with Games Workshop though straight up like you know that is honestly what burnt me I don't like I was just tired of them. Because whenever I was playing, 7th edition was a fucking mess because they were doing the codexes one way and they were really weak, really underpowered, and that seemed the way they were going. And then halfway through it, they put, started doing these formations, and formations was the new meta. And if you didn't have formations, your army was gimped, and that was it. There was no, there was no well, in like, between. I remember you know where I mean? you had like you had like force construction where you had an HQ 
which unlocked yeah. three platoons. If you had four platoons, you unlocked a vehicle slot. If you wanted two more vehicles, we well, have you have a, 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 a like truck or vehicle HQ and I unlocked yeah. more slots. Or you, I want more fast attack. We well, got unlock this fast attack commander had more fast attack. It, it, yeah. it actually had a tree to it that you unlocked by yeah. including more troopers of certain kinds. And now that's now like yeah, uh, nothing costs points or upgrades. Also, what? don't cost points. Uh, yeah, just include this. Not- just pick whatever you want. Thanks. Is that, is that actually what they do now? Well, like, I was playing Eldar for a couple months before they got nerfed with a bat six fucking times. And, I, and <laughs> it was, it, the thing is, I played Corsair Infantry Eldar. Like, I, like, it wasn't even the meta. And you go into their app thing they have, or you go into Battlescribe, and basically the unit has a cost to it, and you pick whatever upgrades you want. Only the commander upgrades costed points. You say you wanted the Corsairs with all the bells and whistles, you just go click, 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 and add them. Like, you'd have... You have like I, old jump and stuff, but, and you could have, like, masters and fucking... Well, yeah, so, like, I had Corsairs... I, like, I had a Corsair squad at, at 10. I think they needed 10 to unlock the, like, the, the, the Wraith cannon and shit. So I'd be, like, yeah. one, I'd be like one-shotting fucking, oh. ter- like, Terminators. I'm like, well, I can I can afford this. Why the fuck would I take it? Yeah, Corsair blasters, yeah. the Wraith cannon, the, uh... The, uh... Oh, sh- the, me dark rounds. The, uh... Sh- me dark rounds. <laughs> yeah, like... Blast. Or like, yeah, I'm gonna take all bright lances because I can, and I was just fucking zip zap, fucking like, oh look, oh look, oh, like literally, I look at like custodies, zap, and I just blow through them. Or hey, I have a tank. Well, I have three bright lances that are hitting at strength bazillion. Fuck you, you know that kind of shit. Oh, like that's I, that that was what did it in for me. Where Games Workshop, that's what turned me off, well, and that's what the thing is. That's made a, me I, I, I like the old way because I, I just play Imperial Guard and Space Marines, where you had to unlock or you had to buy certain HQ choices yeah. to unlock more vehicles or fast attack or Terminators. It, it, it felt fun because you're building a combat force. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, let, let, let's just keep going. Let's see what else do boys have to say, and then we'll jump into some other bits that I've seen. So, G- like, so, so Jibby says that female custodies were always a thing, but they were mentioned in the lore. That just means that not a single female custody was worth talking about in custody history. Dang, female custodies must be useless or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they must just be that. They, they, they just don't matter that much. They've, uh, they're actually just like so bad at it that we're just not going to bring them up ever. Hades like, you know, they, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, that's great. <laughs> oh fuck, that's great. Thanks, I hate it. 18 naked cowboys in the shadows of Ram Ranch 69 says, <laughs> I don't have any real opinions on it. I do have an opinion on people screaming for boycotts because there are girls in their grim, dark fantasy plastic figure game. Man up, my god. You scream about masculinity all the time but can't stand being challenged in your views and break down screaming as soon as a girl is depicted as capable. See, that's where you're so, wrong. See that that's the shit that makes me kind of angry because it there's there are female I, characters all through 40k that are shown as capable. So I play whenever I was playing 40k, I played the factions with the most women. I played Dark Eldar. 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 I played Smash <laughs> and yeah, Eldar. You know, uh yeah, oh and also Guard. <laughs> you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Uh so like I played the factions that actually did have the most amount of women in them. And I actually go I always hated, especially when it came to witches with dark elves. Like, I just don't want to put men in my, my witches. I, I wanted that to be women. You know what I mean? I just, I'm sorry, I don't want my wee. I, I I'm sorry, I don't want BDSM fucking men elves, okay? I'm sorry, guys. It's just it just isn't doing it for me, guys, okay? My That's quivering just... abs. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, uh, and again, but look, look, that's all I can say. Um, I feel like I feel like they just don't really get the lore, and that's okay. And you know what? If you feel, feel like I'm wrong, that's okay too. But I've I just feel like to me, I've seen what happens. I've seen I've seen what happened to Star Wars. I've seen what they're trying to do to go to the things. I've seen what they've what that. Well, you know, you can always say, well, you know what? Star Trek was always like that. It's like, yeah, it was, but like. It was better though. <laughs> Star Trek was better in the nineties, guys. I'm sorry to say, it just fucking was. It was just a better show overall. Like, like you guys get where I'm going with this. But but still, though, I want to address Nick and Cowboy's fucking comment right. and the fact that's completely disingenuous. It really is to say that is completely obviously and probably maliciously just fucking disingenuous. No one is mad that they're female. No one is at. No one is actually mad that there's ooh, there's a girl. They're mad. Because because it goes against Cry and flies it. in the face of the entire canon that's been set. And the yeah. thing is, is like there in, in any game there should be male and female only spaces. I don't want uh fucking 
uh, what's was the name? I don't, I don't want any misters of battle. I don't. I like my sisters of battle. It makes them unique. I said this in the last video. We were discussing that entire debacle. Yeah. Certain units are unique because of what yeah. they are. You know. Yeah, they really and, are. Um, Look, a good example. Let's go for it, guardsmen. Or look, you know what? Let's go for it because it's because a lot of people were talking about it recently. Starship clippers, <clears throat> men and women serve together in starship clippers. Why do they serve together? Because you don't fucking matter. You're doing your part, all right. Yeah. And that's so, <clears throat> what else is there to say? It's one of those things where in, in, in that setting, they literally you know just showers of co-ed, co-ed barracks. Because basically, yeah. it's it's literally you don't you matter. matter. You are not a woman. You're not a man. You are a trooper you have you don't have a gender anymore you know you, you are a battle you brother are a, you are a battle sister your job is to kill that's what your job is to do you are a citizen that's what you are yeah <laughs> well, well, probably not actually what is your so gender young. citizen <laughs> what was your pants <laughs> yeah. democracy yeah you, you get what i'm trying to say i think like they even did that in fucking oh, um, how yeah you know i mean like what's the difference with bodies they've got big body and thin body and then they've just got different voices you know uh Honestly, like I'm not going to get into that because again, that's a different thing. Let's keep going. Let's see. Is, how how far are we in? How many? How we are how long is this forty important? minutes in. All right. Well, let's keep going. I feel like there's a lot more to talk about, and I really want to do this in just one video because I don't want to come back to this subject until something mega happens. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I, I and I know finally like, once we stop recording, it's going to be like, uh, uh, I wish I got that up. You know what I mean? Happens drops. Yeah. Like damn it. Yeah. Fuck. Like every fucking time. Every fucking time. And then like I go to upload it, and then five minutes later, there's been a big joker. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand 24 hour news cycles now. Yeah, it's uh, here, you know what? Shit. Let me go on for a fag. I'll be back in a wee sec. Oh, good lord. Uh, First of all, sister, you've raised the alarm. What's the matter? Nothing. It's fine. You'd know if you cared about me. <laughs> I bet you'd know if you was one of those so sororitas, wouldn't you? But anyway, so do you think that's a response to that new fucking wife woo check meme? <laughs> yeah, do you think this, I think all of this is just a response to that. So uh, here is Master of the TDS. That, like, bro. so this guy, he's this guy anyway. He's actually pretty funny. He's really, he's really, he's really, he's really. He's really uh, uh, sharp in terms of watching this kind of stuff but master tds yeah. says warhammer has been on the topic of discussion today due to the warhammer official account claiming since the first of the ten thousand were created there have always been female custodians many fans are quick to point out that this is not mentioned in the lore and accuse the warhammer team of making changes to lore to be more inclusive and diverse in the hopes of appealing to a wider market despite the fact that 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 section is just it's not uh. as it's, it's not it, it, it's as wide as a slice of cheese, all right? It's, it's, it's not very wide at all. Many fans are quick yeah, to point out yeah. that... Uh, hold on. So many fans are quick to point out that this is not mentioned in the lore, yada, yada. Speaking of appealing to a wider market, it would seem that someone involved with Warhammer might be might not be too confident in their game's continued success because the bots are once again out promoting Warhammer Vermintide as well as Dark Tide. Worth noting that one of the tweets has, even has no likes or retweets, one comment, and four million views. Oh... Oh, that's yeah. Interesting, isn't it? To be fair though, I didn't really enjoy Dark Tide all that I much. I liked Vermintide. I really liked Vermintide. Dark Tide, honestly, I only played it once whenever we live streamed with you, and that was it. Like, you know, I I don't know. It just didn't <laughs> didn't feel. <laughs> oh, I'm loving, I'm oh, loving oh, how so I will say. Look at this fucking this fucking what one bot post. It's loading. Hold on. Let me see it. There we go. It's fucking Al Shahid. Yes, Vermintide two is not haram. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's good i like that honestly you know what that's one of the like that was another thing that's i you know what this video is not going to talk about age of sigmar we will not talk about age of sigmar um i i i all i can say is if you enjoy age of sigmar it, it, you know what it's not it's, it's set it, it's just War, warhammer fantasy is so much better by such a big magnitude uh, why would but anyone Nefiria, care? you have steampunk airship dwarf now why aren't you happy I, 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 I just, no i'm just not i'm sorry and you know what and i've said this again i'm gonna say it again they just seem to be like okay let's take a model and make an entire army around this one model like look at dwarf slayers yeah the, did the, you, the, 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 the fire slayers that? yeah yeah, do they really need the, that to be a thing? Or, like, there's just... Age of Sigmar just has so many gimmick armies. Does that make any sense? Like, What, you mean the giants floating look, sea turtles? Oh, it casts a spell that allows us to float on the tide. And you, you can argue, oh, well, maybe Warhammer Fantasy had that problem as well to a certain extent, but nowhere to the same degree. If you look at even, like, the Empire, the Empire's a very, like, it's got... Yeah, okay, they're all human, most of them, but like you know, there's there's so much variety within that army. You know what I mean? Um, Warriors of Chaos again, great variety. Just in comparison to Aegis Sigmar, it feels like I have no interest in painting the same model a million times. Does that make sense? Mm. Like I would love, I've, I would always, I've always wanted a dwarf army, or not a dwarf army, sorry, an orc army. I I think dwarves would be my shit. I love modeling. I love putting trash together. I love that type of stuff. But I just do not have it in me to paint a hundred boys, and that's realistically, well, that's what you needed at the time. You needed a hundred. We can't paint like green. Well, I can, but it's just a hundred times of that infantry model. I painted I was four skeletons. You, no, <laughs> no, sir. Or well, skeleton, easy. <laughs> well, you get, you, I've got skeletons. What are you on about? That would be piss. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, honestly, skeletons. You look like brush. shit, baby. Like, dry brush. Down. Anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, gosh. Anyway, look, look. So, what does this guy have to say? What's in the other posts that he's got here from Master of D or whatever you call him? That, that, that's all there is. Or... It's basically just screenshots of him showing off all of the bot posts, and it's, it's just obvious bot posting. That's all it is. It's like basically they're, 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 they're all the exact same comment, and there's nothing changing. Yeah, sounds about like honestly. You know what? I was talking to the Imperial Herald the other uh, yeah. the other day, so I was, and. Um, he was saying like we were we were playing um, Hell Divers together. Oh yeah. And yeah. he said it, it, it's actually such a shame that it took a different company to make the ultimate 40k game, which is Hell Divers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how sad is that? That it and that's what it feels like. Why have the only on, I, I'm very controversial here. I'm just gonna put it out here. The only 40k or actually, well, no, because I loved Warmer, the Total War games outstanding. Love them ones, but I'm talking just 40k. The only one that I think was damn near perfect was the first Dawn of War game. That one was outstanding. I, I did not like Warhammer uh, Total War 2 and I did not, I really did not like Total War Warhammer 3. They, they, they just no. No, absolutely not. Uh, trash. Um, was there any, for you, what, what would your views be on like any of the games? Like what was your favorite or, you know? Of which, of, of the Total War series or just No, no, Warhammer. just like 40k game. Oh, okay. Just, 40k games. I mean, not, not in Kingdom War. The, the Total War games are fake. The, one, the ones with the most good memories for me is Dark. It's a, not Dark Tide. It's a. Um, fuck. Well, hold on. It's. it's we gotta find it. Hold on. <laughs> it was uh, Warhammer Dawn of War. Yeah. And it was actually Dark Crusade. Because. Uh, yeah, me, Dark Crusade. Because nice me, me and my friends would, would get together at, at one of our houses and we just fucking take turns playing Dark Crusade. Yeah. And just fucking watching our set, you know, it was fun. It was, it was, it was just that game that was the the new hotness for 40k, and it was good. And I played every yeah. Dawn of Dawn of War until fucking Dawn of War two, and and you could tell it's, that the quality was going downhill extremely fast. Yeah, Soulstorm was okay. I Soulstorm was sorry. I, yeah, Dark Elder sisters were trash, all, but, all they did. Uh, the sisters were they were okay. They weren't the greatest faction. Honestly, I felt like Marines were just better. But Marines, like Space Marines, were just like I'm sorry, guys. Space Marines were the best faction in the Dawn of War. It's like it's like Command and Conquer Generals. What was the best faction? Americans. Oh. And if you think otherwise, you're fucking wrong. Let's be serious. They were they were just they just were the best. Okay. Uh, look, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Is there anything we haven't really touched on? Because 
I well, feel like the core of the argument really comes down to Games Workshop are trying to appease people that are not fan base. That's really what I say. Well, and I feel like the main the, reason they're trying try, try to pander to a small slice of 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 the uh, of the pie, and the thing is, they're squashing the other part of the pie to try and make this one little bitty slice happy. Happy. And do they even need to be happy? No, do they don't. I, mean? like, I, I, oh, is, I, I always is... say, I always say, make yourself about the hobby, not the hobby about yourself. And these fucking, do air quotes here, uh, yeah. people always make the hobbies they go into about themselves. Yeah. Well, I want this. Yes. I want to be represented. Right. I, I want to be represented. Like, you, no one cares about you, you fucking dork. Like, no like, one, <clears throat> no one plays this game to make, to make Steve make Stacy yeah. happy. All right. Yeah, like for me, for me anyway, I feel like when it comes to any hobby, like, you know, the way it should be is anyone's welcome, but you're welcome to join the hobby, not to change it. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah. that's just, and, and I feel like that's what I see time and time again. People that, oh, this is really cool. Let's get into that. And they, they just fucking, they're like a malignant fucking cancer, to say the least. And I've seen, and this is, and I think this is one of the other things. It's like the straw that put the camel's back, especially when it comes to female marines. It's something that's been hotly spoken about online for what, like, honestly, as long as I can remember. I can't remember a time where female, like, as long as I've been following 40k online, which would have been about maybe 20... 11 12 maybe and mm -hmm. then that time i started like you know because before that i wasn't really looking at stuff online i was just like you know painting and doing that sort of thing it, again i wasn't really using it not half as much back then but anyway anyway back on point back on what i'm trying to say is it's more like why did the lily is this lily is it is this where we're at is it is, is it lily and it, we've seen it happen and that's my biggest my biggest concern is we've seen this happen time and time again and people know what's going to happen next you know people know exactly what's going to happen next and i feel like warhammer has been one of the hobbies that has been able to withstand this type of cancer the most and why has it been able to withstand this the most because the cost of entry is so great look at something like star wars for instance star wars is so easy to get into it doesn't take much to be a fan of star wars look at gold playing games look at D, D. how much does it take to actually become a fan and play very little it's it may as well be a free My game paradise, let's be serious that point honestly you don't like you know as long as you have a set of dice anyone can play gold playing games you don't need money for it whereas when it comes to war games war games Models are expensive. They always have been. Uh, it takes, like, you know, honestly, if you want to get an army, it's the equivalent of buying, like, a gaming PC. Let's be serious. Like, you know, you could buy yourself, well, not now, I suppose it used to be, like, you know, maybe, like, how much would it cost to make, like, a 2,000 point army these days? Um, I think maybe about 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. And I'm in the UK, so 40k is very cheap compared to the rest of the world. The rest of the world, the prices are fucking astronomical. Do you know what I mean? Like, look at see Australia, New Zealand. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't know where the money's going for that. Um, and I feel like that's been able to protect it for a very long time because you know what? If you want to be a fan, you need to be a fan. You know, you need to be buying. You know what I mean? You need to be in there. And that's the way they've always seen it. And they've been able to hold them back, for lack of a better word. And, oh, I don't know. What do you think, Garbu? What do you What do you think? It's actually caused this shift. I don't know. Like, is our our seals dying? How, do you think? Do you think Games Workshop is like you know? Is it doing poorly? I'm to the point where I just don't hours? fucking care about Games Workshop, man. Like the the Games Workshop yeah. I knew has been dead for fucking damn near a decade, and unfortunately, yeah, so. like nearly all of my fucking hobbies is being used as a tool in the fucking culture war. Uh, is like like. <laughs> That's the biggest you know what like, yeah that that's exactly what it is for me that is exactly what it fucking is because i see whenever i first started doing like youtube and stuff i was far, like I, i've, I've always happy. been interested I'm in politics happy. I'm full of life. <laughs> no but i've always been interested in politics so i do follow politics i do find it very interesting i talk to my friends about it but i said i don't want to do this when it comes to doing youtube i wanted I wanted my channel to be very strict. I only wanted to talk about. I only. I, I really did. I only wanted to talk about um, hobby and interests. I wanted to talk about go playing games. I wanted to talk about war games. That's what it was all about for me. Yeah. yeah. And 
if you look at the way the world has gone in the past, like, what, four years? I, it wasn't until, like, late 2020 that I started even, like, touching. Like, I, I was doing videos for a good three years. Well, no, 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 no. You weren't Before touching. We even... It was touching you. We, we were doing yeah, our thing, that, that, and politics it, reached up and grabbed our fucking boss. It's like, hey, pissing go by yourself, <laughs> yeah. handsome. Like, what the fuck is that? And, like, literally, we're sitting there in our chairs doing our thing, and a hand reaches up and grabs our nutsack. We look down. It's the culture. We're going, nice cock, yeah. bro. Like I, I just wanted to do fun story times. No, that's no. what I, I just go. That's all I wanted to ever do. And like, it just feels like ever since like 2020, I feel like especially like with the curve and stuff, that's just it, 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 people have gone insane. Especially like Trump, Benjamin, Sun, all that sort of stuff. It's just went to people's brains and it's just infected everything. And I would love to just like you know, well, I like doing it on Terminal Online now because it's quite therapeutic now, laughing mm. at them at this point. Like, I love doing it on that. But like, I've seen out. See, I, even, see, like, I was terrified that. I was going to see comedy die. Like, I was like, oh my God, they're killing comedy. And comedy, yeah. well, like, that's th is. thanks to black comedians, they saved comedy. Thanks for that one, oh, <laughs> boys. Fuck me. Yeah. Like, Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock pulled that bitch out with Bill Burr on their heels. But yeah. it's just like, you know, you, you watch these. It honestly, it reminds me of Christian Puritans trying to ruin comics. And that's what it is. It's fucking, it's purity. It, it, that's exactly what it fucking is. I look, the left eats themselves time and time again. Left I've seen this happen all the time. If you are not part of the group, if you don't have these t commandments, sorry, you're not left. You're obviously a Nazi. There you go. Get the fuck out. Oh, you know what I mean? Raise a flag. What Give a flag. <laughs> oh my God. Well, they, they, you know, they, I, you know is, what? Like, before I forget, you know, I, you know, I, I hate how these people lead like you go to any profile they lead with their who they want to fuck who they will fuck and oh, their yeah. pronouns like i've passed over yeah. 16 vas because i'm like okay this person sounds good i go to the i go to the twitter bio and i see like pansexual demifauna i'm like all right skip like it's just like nope you're, you are right. like you are I'll clearly pop. not there mentally pass like yeah if you it, 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 in the worst was this this one guy flew under the radar and there's this one guy and this one gal flew under the radar and uh, i was like okay because i because I, I always do like a verbal beating over over discord like, 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 like a little, little yeah. vc chat yeah get and to I, know you and I, I, yeah, I said you hey know, how are you she was oh i'm good I'm pansexual, she, her. And I was like, uh, goodbye. And I literally hung up. If, if you're going to lead, if you're going to lead in a meeting with a possible employer with your sexuality, I don't know. Fuck you. I don't care who you fuck. I don't care whose genitals you want to nom nom shuck shuck on. It's not my fucking business. Don't tell me that shit. I don't fucking care. You told me you were gonna suck the deck later when we meet up. Bro, I, 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 the, bro, like, I don't want to know that shit. I don't fucking care. You're coming here for a job. I want you to do. Keep that shit to yourself. It's like, yeah. it's the, 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 I'll go to meeting. Yeah, I'm Garbro. Uh, he, him. I fuck ladies. Let's do this, boys. Like, I don't do that weird <laughs> shit. Like that's so yeah. dumb, man. And they do it everywhere. Uh, it's literally like it's, like it's like it's like the first page of the purity test. Who do you fuck? What are your pronouns? Yeah, it's so bad. Oh, you know, like another another good example. I feel like, ex especially like especially like a few months back. See the whole Israel Gaza thing. Oh my god! Like it was like it was getting to the point where it's like you have to pick a side. By the way, guys, Matt Mercer, you what's side. your side? It's Matt Mercer. Who the no. fuck cares? I, 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 I look honestly. I don't really particularly like either group, guys. I'm That's Matt all I'm Mercer, going. And I <laughs> call for a ceasefire. You, 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 you know, see Israel going. Oh no, Matt Mercer said to cease fire. He must definitely <laughs> cease the fire now. Like they don't give a shit about you, you dumb bitch. They don't give a fuck. These people just love killing each other. Yeah. Let it, let them kill each other. A, it's not our fucking problem. B, they want to do it, so let them do it. Like for God's sake. I mean, I, I like. I, I like this video is not about that, but like honestly, see what it comes. Like I feel like direct so parallel, many times, direct parallel. Like, there's there's been so many times in the near, like, even just in the recent past, where it's like, oh, you have to pick a side, man. You have to pick a side. What's your you side? Know, Neither. Like, Fuck you. I don't care. I, I, I'm not getting involved with it. Honestly, this has got nothing to do. This is what has this got to do with role playing games, guys? <laughs> I wanted to do my role building. You know what? But you know There's what? a war in not in your country. What's your side? Uh, my country's side. I don't uh, give a fuck. Go away. <laughs> yeah. Um, how about I don't want to. I don't want to fund another war in the Middle East, and I don't want to import another 50 billion Muslims into Europe. And that's that's my opinions. And there you guys go. Let's let's keep going. 
In this context, the custodian best be a ship-specific role of camera operator or a fanboy custodian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that. Well, one. thing is, like fanboy, it, it. You know what? If, if, if I say only the strong survive, we're gonna get fucking soy jacks. Um, actually, anyone can survive at the forty-first millennium. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. if you go and look, One Page Rules, who's the current competitor to four to forty k, is having a huge jump in downloads. Oh yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they are. Yeah they absolutely are. I've seen that to have. Um, all I'm saying, I, no, actually, you know what? I, I can't talk about that project just yet because it's still kind of up in the air. <laughs> the, the, the hush hush wink wink like, system. Yeah, there's there's something going on. It's written, it's done, but it, I might not be. I, I might be selling it to someone else. That's all I can say, and I don't really. I can't get into that because I can't say who I'm selling to because I'm going to be going more into a ghostwriting position. Mm. But like, hey, I'll, I'll definitely be shelling it, guys. So you know, like, you guys will find out. Let's just keep going. I can't say though. Can't say time to start making parallel games to warhammer they already have most of them failed though space king Although, yeah praise yeah. be the space king there we go <laughs> yeah so you so if you watched you've watched space king right no no what so meat canyon did a 40 like a 40k like like parody it's called space king i oh, think gosh, i yes, think yeah. right now we should watch it together though hold on like we should watch it like we should end this video with us watching space kings together as a unit because uh, it's Nah, it's, no, it's 17 minutes long, so what I believe it's... Okay, okay hold, hold on. Can we watch the first, like, minute? All right, okay. I'll do okay. it up here. Honestly, yep, that 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 that's 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 pretty gay to me, man. That, that that honestly is that's pretty gay to me. Like, um, get the bag, of, get the bag of little girl, someone a fucking volcano. <laughs> ah, ah, honestly, <laughs> honestly, like, so the last chapter that I played as was Cardons. Oh, uh, like, you know, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I loved them. I thought they were great because, again, they were kind of like borderline chaos almost. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there's like, not chaos. Who's that like, one huge, gigantic space shark who's like fucking statuesque and like in height? Uh, and Ty Tiberius, that week. He was a fucking beast as a model. I see his model. Oh my God. It was actually insane. See the rules for that thing. He absolutely. If you put him in cruise combat, if he got into cruise combat, he was gripping anything to bits. He was. Filthy. I loved. I, I honestly, that he he was probably the main reason why I played Space Sharks because I just loved his model so much. To the rules for it, the way he played, and it just fitted with the lore so well. And I love the model for him as well. It just looks so fucking cool. I'll need to find. I'll need to find my a picture of my Tiberius Red Week though. Um, mind you, I took all the photos I've got are from like phones from years ago, and I lost my Facebook page in like 2019. So I also lost the majority of all the photos of my. Um, fucking models as well, which is very sad. And now all my models are away. It's, um, they're all packed away in my mum's attic. So they have been. They're putting the cuck box to, uh, in the corner. Yeah. Well, you know the thing is, I don't. You know, it's been years since I've painted and whatnot, and year, even more years since I've even played. So, like, you know, honestly, I don't have the space. You know what I mean? It's easier if I just put them away in my mum's house whenever I get down to. You know the thing is, Ozzy loves tiny people. And this is the thing that really gets me. So he's been playing with, he loves Mario. Everything's Mario at the minute. He's absolutely obsessed. And he got this here, like we, it would remind you of like Polly Pocket. So it would, you know, like tiny, tiny Mario stuff. And he prefers that from like the bigger stuff by a big Mario. And see the fucking problem. Is he trying to find baby, he calls him baby Mario at the end of the night. It's a fucking nightmare, man. Like see, having to like find him. And I've been saying to Megan, he's like, you've, you've no idea, Megan. He is going to be obsessed. War games 
Like, you, you've no idea. Like, all he loves to do is play with, like, tiny, tiny people, and he loves painting. So, like, I've said this to Megan. It's like, Megan, I hope you're at it. You're going to be painting a lot of fucking eyes for us. <laughs> you know? Like, it's not going to be long before he's, like... And that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Ozzy to get old enough to get back into, like, any form of war games. But even then, like, you know, I think... I don't I don't think I'll play. For if he really wants to play 40k, we'll play 40k. If he really, really wants, like, the odd model, I'll buy him the odd model set. But, like, you know... I, Look, we get we got models at home. Get, I'm sorry, like you know, we're printing for ninety percent of the models. But if there's something that you really, really want, I'll I'll buy it for you. That that's the best I can do. Um, but ah. like that's that's the way I'm. Here is actually a really good post I just found about the whole debacle. Oh, go forget, throw it on over. Throw it over, throw it over, baby. Oh Jesus, yeah, that post. Oh my. So God, he says. One. I don't actually care about Warren personally, so I can look at this objectively. The Wokoids did win. They have crushed your gate, and now they will erect a new gate to keep you out of their new territory. So stop buying Warmer stuff. Let them fail. We know they will. Yeah, honestly, yeah. But again, that that is the point of the activist. They have no interest in the actual hobby themselves. Look at how... Well, they're trying to use it as a weapon. They're trying yeah. to use the entire yeah. fandom as a weapon in the culture war. Yeah. They infect it, they get into it, they destroy it, they move on to the next thing. They already know that they've destroyed... Well, they're literally locusts. They're, they're literally roving yeah. bands of locusts who just devour and destroy fandoms. And yeah. All. You know, and the other thing is... Yeah, so I think there's a good argument people can make of, well, you know, the hobby is very old, and, like, you know, things do develop over time, things do change, and, like, you know, Warhammer has changed an awful lot since the 90s, and that well, is very true. Yes. That, that, that's that's very true but would we be seeing these changes if the world wasn't the way it was today and of course you can argue that like you know fiction imitates life you know um all fiction is developed is developed from the time it was created like you know let's look at token for instance um token middle earth now it would have most definitely existed if world war one didn't happen but world war one shaped Middle Earth in ways that we will never be able to understand. Same with like um, June, for instance, being made in the 50s, 60s, you know, oh no, it was 60s, so it was. Again, it's a product of its time and you can see it, the influences of its time. Does that make any weird sense? Um, again, let's look at 40k. What is it? A product of the 80s. It's a product of Thatcher era England, you know, mm -hmm. and you can it, and it's in its very it's it's in its very fucking Thatcher. genetics. People say Thatcher like, like like the Antichrist, fucking Thatcher. Well, okay, I will say I don't like Thatcher. Thatcher was pretty fucking horrible. You cannot just put millions of people out of work overnight and expect the system to continue to fucking operate. Um, so in some regards, I absolutely despise her. But in other regards, I think she's fucking cool, man. Um, <laughs> and I, I know a lot of people are going to argue with this over me, but like the Falcons was fucking aesthetic. I don't care. It was honestly the best war since World War II ever. It was probably, it's definitely the best British modern war just for its pure, the aesthetics alone, beautiful. <laughs> it was just, and it was just one of those wars. It, you know what? It's nice. To, how good, nice would it be, Garbo, to have another like Gulf War, you know, or like Desert Storm? And you go in, you smash the fuck out of them, and you go home, and everyone's happy, you know? Like, when, when was the last time we had a war like that? Mm. Do they even exist anymore? You know, it's it's, it's a might. feel good one. Give me time. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we might have another one. And then the other one is again, I'm from Northern Ireland or shit the cold policy with Targus was fucking beast. Not gonna lie, I think that's the coolest thing ever. And I'm not gonna elaborate any more on that. If you want to know more, you should check out the Fleet Gumlood video where me and Megan talk about Northern Ireland for like six hours. So there you go. <laughs> that's all I can say. I'm not gonna get into any more of that. But again, look, that. It, you, it, Thatcherism is it, it really is built into 40k in ways that we I don't think most people can even understand you know to understand 40k is to understand 80s England you know 80s working class poverty stricken England and that is really important I, I feel like anyway you know and you can say the same thing with Lord of the Rings and I know you're going to shout at me it's like well James no you're not wrong it's like well I I, I feel of course a Protestant would say that but I feel like you do need to understand Catholicism to understand um, Tolkien's work and I, honestly I feel like you need to understand Islam to understand Jin I'm just putting that out there guys and I'm not going to elaborate well, they, on that they call their, their objects the jihad of so and so or the so and so jihad like uh, yeah I, 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 I really do feel like um, Paul Atreides is a rebirth of Muhammad. 
unironically, I really do feel like that's... I, I, I definitely feel like he's an analog for Muhammad. That's all I can say. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, well, James, that's obvious. But I feel like the more you read about Islam and the more you read about Jinn, it's like, holy shit. You know, uh, and like, again, you could even argue that maybe the spice is oil. Let's just say. You know what I mean? And again, like, you know, and that's not like a big, oh, oh whoa. Oh, yes, the big out. fat fat in America. I see it now. It's all, all the parallels <laughs> are coming in. Yeah, but you know what? Anyone can tell you that sort of stuff. But it, it, honestly, look into you guys, and honestly, it gets really, it, more, it gets more interesting. The more the more you read it, right? And you're like, holy shit, what the fuck? You know what I mean? The more stuff becomes apparent, the more you actually like stop and like think about it, you know. Um, but like that, that that's not fucking near amazing. Everyone knows that sort of stuff. Um, do you want to go for like some of the examples of people shitting themselves over all this? Sure. You know, because I've seen like some people. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. There has been some people that like. Do any of you guys remember whenever? I'm sure there's going to be a good few guys remember what it was like whenever Aegis like Mark came out and there was videos of people setting their, their models like, on fire. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the one about the one about the dark elves? Yeah, I remember the guy him, yeah. fucking set like he set like four thousand pounds worth of models on fire. Mm -hmm. And honestly, he play onto something. You know, uh, 10 years later. I mean, you, you already the, fucking the, bought the damn thing. Just keep them for fuck's sakes. Yeah, I would say keep them. I I, I feel like it was more just protest. It kind of reminds me of that fellow that set himself on fire outside of that fucking embassy the other oh, week. Oh, the, like, the, the airman. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a spectacle. I'm not going to lie, but like, I don't feel like anyone had to do that. I'm not going to lie. You know what I mean? Like, no one actually like, says stuff on fire, dude. Like, come on. Yeah. I, I well, mean, that, and he did that, and the internet completely memed him to death. Like, it. it, uh, it all, all, also, he was out, he was leaving the army, and he also had a wife and a child. Bro, he had a me. wife and kids. He was ETSing his whole life ahead of him, and he died for the cause. Fucking cringe. Yeah, that to me is unforgivable. I, I don't care what side you're on. I well, like that, that, and imagine being his kid. His kid has to see his dad be set on fire and memed on and put in woe jacket means for the rest of his fucking life. I know, that's absolutely appalling. You know what I mean? And honestly, it's already been forgotten about for the most part. Let's be serious. You know what I mean? Like, it has, it's already been forgotten about. So what, what good did it serve? Zero. Absolute zero. I'm sorry, but you're not a fucking Buddhist monk. You know what I mean? You're not going to have that effect. And we live in a very different world where the idea of setting yourself on fire was like, oh, that's very profound. You know, it, no. How many people have been like, "Oh, I mean, that's that's such a that's such a deep thing to do." You know what I mean? It's like people don't care. People people don't care. People, we're used to watching gore videos online. You know what I mean? We've watched. I've watched enough videos of like fucking Russians getting to, or Chechens, Ukrainians just getting, yeah. fucking, getting fucking grenades dropped on them, and they're begging for life. You know what I mean? And they're just like looking at the doing absolute in fear. You know, I come on. I feel like everyone's very desensitized at this point to a lot of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, look, honestly, I feel like for most people, I think this is a line in the sand. Um, what do you want to see, Garbo? Are you like for me? I've been done. Like I've been done with Games Workshop for a long time, and that's honestly I feel like why we have never really done any videos because they haven't really done anything that bad. They're just Games Workshop being Games Workshop. You know, they they fuck up the rules again. They put out too many codexes. They their models are somehow getting worse. You know, um, no, so so look at the fucking warp spiders. Same model for how many years? Yeah, but you know what they're going to put out is going to be absolute dog shit anyway. So like. 3D is a thing. There's much better. Well, yeah, like I, I, I see 40k losing a lot of their a lot of their uh, profit margin from guys going. You know what? Fuck you. Making my own models. Just fuck you. And they're gonna. Yeah. And, 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 and thing is, right now, I know for a fact that I, there you know, are tons they, they, of guys making models right now for all the armies yeah. guaranteed. And, and that's another thing that really fucking annoyed me. I've been seeing fucking GW apologists forever mm -hmm. gurning about people being like, oh, 3D printers are like fucking the vegans of war games. And like, yeah, you're right. But that's because you don't understand. You haven't, you haven't done it yet, man. Once you You were start there, man. <laughs> no, but honestly, once you start like printing in your, like I, I'm, I've got fucking 10 printers in my house, right? I print a lot. I print a lot, and honestly, there's something incredibly satisfying about a really good print coming out, and you just look at it, and it's like, I, that was actually, that. this looks like something that's been produced in a factory, you know what I mean? This does not look like something that was produced in my spare bedroom, you know? It just doesn't, and it's, it, 3D printing isn't for everyone, but I feel like at any game store, there's going to be someone that's be, be in the 3D printing, and you know what? I'm sure they'll sort you out a lot cheaper than a lot of other, like a lot of Games Workshop does. We're living in a different time now. We we're not in a we're not in a time where it's like, oh, if you want if you want space we models, 
they're, they're the only way you can get space marine models. You know, uh, I suppose there's always been alternative models, but a lot of them alternative models have been kind of shit for the longest time. Let's be serious. Like, you know, if you go back to like 2013, if you look at like a lot of the proxy websites from that era, they were kind of bad. And honestly, their prices weren't even that good. You know, they just weren't. You know, and at this point, it's just it's just a different. Well, I mean, I mean, you we look at the, the current cost for a single squad. Like, you have to buy those. How much um, is it now? Let me go on. I have no idea. Yeah, it, you're not gonna uh, like it. Like, the best way to save money is to buy those patrol boxes and just gather things yeah. via the patrol boxes because i think i did the math once in the game store but like the markup's like almost like 200 percent 300 percent on a single box compared right. to, the, to the big boxes oh let me just go with space marines because this is what i always used to market down as how much is it for 10 marines strike team fucking 40 quid jesus Christ. well they're primaries let's say for heavy into mm, where's just like a normal fucking holy shit I, you know what gets me is i'm under third of fucking games workshop prices I need mm. to fucking up my prices, man. Like, straight up. Oh, here we go. Assault and interceptors. Fucking 40 quid. Jesus Christ, the night. How much is that per model, then? Let me get, get a calculator, then. Um, well, that, how many models of those do you need to have a... Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so 37.50. Divide by 10. How much is that per model? Near four pound per model. Now, the way I always did my conversion with how much it was worth is... I always like to do it of compared to a video game. So the average video game at the time, whenever I was like, was 60 quid for a new like PS4 game. And I think a box of Marines was like 21 pound. It's fucking doubled, man. That's insane. Um, it was, it was like fucking, it was like 15 pound for like a box of 10 guardsmen, but mind you, I can only this. Guardsmen, so I suppose that doesn't say much, but like, I would always do it by like, okay, if I buy a video game, how many hours am I probably going to play? The average video game, 12 hours, maybe, you know? How well, long would you it play? depends on what game it is. Like, I'm waiting on yeah. Manor Lord to come out, and I'm probably going to sink at least 200 hours in the fucking Manor Lord. Yeah. You know? Like, Helldivers already has, I think. Uh, Helldivers, I've sunk a lot of time into. I've, yeah. I've, <laughs> yeah I've, I've been, but that's a one thing. Like, has that's a, 40 hours. Like, it, so if a game's good and a game has a lot of replay like, value, you, you, you'll get at least fucking. Right, so uh, Helldivers, I think, is around the same place off Steam for a box of Marines. Okay, so how many hours does it take you to paint 10 Marines? For most people, from start to finish, assembly, like, it took me maybe an hour for an uh, infantry model, that, and that's assembly included. How long would it take you for, like, putting together this box? And So it would take me about 10 hours to do this box. How long would it take you? So usually I can get a box put together and painted uh like you, 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 you said per model right yeah so i would say it, it would take me to do a 10 infantry squad it would take me 10 hours so in and around that ballpark so using my my current so my current project is imperial special forces for legion and it's a good good analog these guys will take me about three to four hours per model for tabletop quality but I, but but get them i do batch painting i'll go belts i'll do that in an hour uh, and then i'll yeah. just go you know so I, I know like the the armor the undershirt and the pants i did in about half an hour per model mm. okay, well that well it's hard for me to tell because sometimes I'll, I'll just fucking blitz through shit or i'll just fucking <laughs> yeah it's hard, hard to say but like yeah. I, I, I think like after basing ceiling all that shit maybe seven hours per model seven space seven seven hours per model yeah all right so that would take you about 70 hours then mm. for right, so the guts of like you know two full weeks of work working nine to five for like you know which i don't think that's bad and that's just the painting aspect how many times are you going to be fielded in that army lot, you know which yeah. yeah so therefore i always kind of thought well in, in comparison if i'm buying something that i know that i'm going to enjoy painting i know that i'm going to be using this on the tabletop as well then i've got no issue with picking it up and i felt like it was honestly not that bad of a price four pound eh, it's still not the worst but for 3D printing, you could do that for pennies. Like, yeah, honestly, you, 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 you buy that entire unit, multi-part um, screw for like probably 75 cents um, a dude. Yeah, honestly, I would think with 3D printing, it's probably going to be like, with the cost of buying the STL or like a Patreon or whatever, you're probably looking at maybe... It'd be a pittance. Yeah, it'd, it'd, it'd be a yeah pittance I'm, I'm going to go 50p. Play 50p, which is a big, big fucking gap. Now, of course, you do need to learn how to 3D print, and that is not for the faint of heart. Well, just it's, it's, it's getting easier and easier as time goes on. It's, it's no longer... Yeah. Because, because nowadays, you, you have a lot more push-button 
printers and, and the bitch just yeah. the bitch just goes like, yeah i feel they're, like honestly since the mars 2s the 3d printing has been so much easier they just work so much better and also these supports are so much more of a thing now mm -hmm. like whenever i first started these supports just did not exist at all and you have to just be tons you of to islands to go and find yeah yeah and it was just it, it, there was a lot of time sync invest into that See, and the biggest time sync was, 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 the biggest time sync was isolating all the islands because it would ruin yeah. the entire print yeah it would and honest it's oh like i'm not gonna get into that i i did write an article actually about how to get into 3d printing <clears> from mad sky magazine issue two mm. if any of you guys are interested in that but like let's keep going um well it's more of a thing that you, you you asked me what i like to see from these new fans or the fans in general and let's say you're a fresh face fresh out of the fucking um estrogen factory <laughs> male to female and you're like yeah. you know what i want to take my slight mustache and get in the 40k um okay. and mind you these are all jokes kids keep your fucking pants on um it's just if you want to get in the 40k leave yourself at the fucking door it's not about you not not a, yeah. not a single fandom is about you you are nothing compared to the fandom do not go into a fandom and demand it be turned around and twisted to better suit you. No one cares about yeah. you. You are the new guy. You are the, 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 the FNG. Shut the fuck up and enjoy the setting. And stop yeah. making everything about you. I like, feel like uh, one of the big things I feel like a lot of people don't understand with like, gatekeeping. I don't like the term gatekeeping because I feel like it doesn't really work very well anyway. Because like, have you ever met like a landomer in the wild that's interested in 40k? You will talk to that person for fucking hours. It's more like, so hard to find. It's more of a, it's not a, it's not a gate. It's a goddamn colander where you fucking keep all the fucking yeah. dipshits out. Let the rest of them flip. Everyone else flow through. Yeah, I, I I want I want people I I, I want war games to be i want i want to live in a world where role-playing games and war games are just as popular as video games yeah that's that's what i want i really want that i i wish i think the world would honestly be a genuine happier place because i feel like this is why i love hell divers hell divers is super social yeah that's what i love i well, feel like see i love war games for that social aspect you go out yeah. you go hey and sometimes you go you go hey uh you just some random guy sitting there and you see a box like me i'll walk in. oh he is it i'll walk in I'm like oh he has star wars legion I'm like hey yeah. uh, you playing legion yeah want to get a game in oh uh yeah sure so this random yeah. guy you've never fucking seen before and now you're gonna be talking and chatting and playing this game for the next hour and a half two hours and you build i don't know god forbid friendships that way yeah i mean like and that's i i feel like video games have been since split screen stopped being a thing and since LAN parties again parties, like yeah, I, I never I, ne I never even got into that like you know that's, that's and in concrete like, land parties uh my oh uh, still you know I used to go to this like gaming cafe, like an internet. Like, it was an internet cafe, but it was like really, it was just like video games. Yeah, yeah. And we all used to play. That's where a lot of my friends first learned about Warhammer. Like I tried to explain it to them, but like fucking ten year old me cannot explain that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, oh. the, the space emperor and he's got his space yeah. bones, and they're called yeah, a, 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 sure. asbestos or something, and yeah. they go out and they fight the alien. Yeah, it's hard to do as a kid. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, people are like, oh that, yeah, sure, very interesting but when you that sounds very nice start, Billy, thank you <laughs> yeah whenever they started playing dawn of war they really got it like dawn of war had the it the, you know what did dawn of war i feel like especially it, the first one uh, the that, music the sound the they captured the essence well to be fair it, it kind of broke the barrier between those who didn't know anything about the setting and like hey here's a, basically it's like a drug dealer giving a guy a free hit like hey here's, yeah. here's a little hit of a 40k oh i like this like yeah there's, yeah we gonna play even, an even better version there's a tabletop version oh is it really yeah like one of my friends um i actually used to play with him at the time um a friend deal whenever jin came out he messaged me it's like yo man you need to see this movie jin it's fucking bad honestly it's like it's it you know what's kind of like it's kind of like remember dawn of war I'm like, yeah, I'm at it. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those ones. Like, it's it, it, he understands it, he knows what it is. But you know what I mean? Like, most of my friends and armies, they're not really all that interested in this sort of stuff. But they kind of are to a certain extent. But they can only do it. Like, for instance, my friend Jacob. I had him on on Gumroad and he was talking about his business and he's pulling in fucking hundreds of thousands a month on I like straight up. He's a guy of the rings and I was trying to get him convince him to come down with us to because the battle from Earth war game's kinda of big where we are and I was asking him like yo 
here. Do you want to come down? He's like, I'd rather eat my own dick, James. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? He's like, I am not impressed. I, go, I, go, I, love, I love Lord of the Rings. I really enjoy it, but I, no, absolutely not. I'd rather fucking absolutely not under no circumstance. I might go in. I'm sorry, mate. Uh, and then a lot of my other friends would just be like, why would you be interested in this? Like, why whenever video games exist? You know what I mean? And they just don't understand. Uh, just play the video game, chuddy. Yeah, like, no, they, they just don't get it. And I feel like this is where we are. And I, I, I really do believe that I wish more games were like Helldivers. I really do. I, I think Helldivers was the perfect game at the perfect time, you know? And I feel like it'll help so many people understand what we're missing in a lot of male dominated hobbies where they're right. Like, look at World of Warcraft prime example world of warcraft used to be what i loved about world of warcraft and what i'm sure most people do as well is how social it was think of like the culture of realms for instance like people knew you from who yeah, you were like, as your character. See, like i was yeah, known where i get emails like hey can you come heal i'm like fine you know cause, because because yeah. my character people knew the character's name like oh that's so and so he did this he, you know he heals for this one guild on the off time and you guys and he can hire him to heal your heal your raid like in that game i would make money by healing raids because i was just because yeah. i was just a good healer mm, like and yeah but you had that reputation people wanted to have have you in you know what i mean well like, that and the well, thing is if you were a fucking dickhead and no one liked you you were ostracized on the yeah. server yeah you really were you really were like if people didn't like you you were like man no i'm not dealing with you oh he's a I'm fucking not. ninja lord basically you have just oh hold on that guy no he ninja loose don't let him in yeah. <laughs> we, we get oh, fucking bumped out. Right. i don't want to know you know what i mean and that's what <laughs> I, I, I feel like that's what I feel like a lot of meal dominated hobbies need, you know? Do you guys like tabletop RPGs? Do you like waifus and husband foos in a colorful fantasy world? Do you fucking hate the ATF? Well, partner, do I have a tabletop RPG for you? Based off of a book series that holds back zero punches, the Ville Rider TTRPG is a game system based around the use of both blood magic, spells, swords and spears, as well as a healthy dose of machine gun fire and grenades. All activities in the game are based around an action point system, a set of points that you both use and spend and regain to do things in the world, allowing you a huge breadth of actions both in and out of combat. The basic field man you'll boast 17 playable races, both foreign and familiar, including gnolls, elves, harpies, and spider folk. There are additionally 19 jobs with unlockable skill trees, ranging from a newly turned local men-at-arms to gunslingers who have luck on their side and might just be your huckleberry. Ah, did we mention the war crimes? There are war crimes. There's a war crime chart. There's a war crime score. Yeah. Don't overuse the gas weapons and human shields or else local law may be a bit pissed. While the basic player manual or field manual is enough to play a game, there is also the combat controller manual that expands on nearly everything in the field manual, including nearly a hundred new spells and potions, weapons, beckoners, drugs, and all a manner of tools to use in the creation of the game. I also paid extra for hand-drawn art, so yeah, there's that too. If you want to be a dwarven machine gunner mowing down southern elves while blasting pumped up kicks in your ears via cassette player, then the Veil Rider TTRPG is the game you have been waiting for. Ah, shit, the Yamatu found the Willy Peek grenades. Hey! Hey! Put that down! Um, to go back on it a wee bit, like, you know, we were talking about this whole thing of the one of the and I, I think i want to end here because i feel like we're just going to go in circles and i feel like this is a big lambly video but this is a lambly topic with so many different points of interest that i kind of want to touch on but i think for me the main one is the overlapping themes and the biggest theme to me in 40k is the end of the imperial the you know, end like of we, the world as we know it uh, uh, unironically and what was the end of the world was the ter terrible fathers you know what i mean and that's really what it comes down massive to. daddy uh, issues yeah major daddy issues here people joke and look at what, what's one of the biggest memes alive today uh daddy issues you know what i mean uh, if they give him curs a single fucking hug it would have solved everything yeah, like straight up. And I feel like, you know what? This is something that I feel like it, it may bother a few people by me saying this, but let's be serious. This type of stuff that we're interested in, um, it does attract 
a certain type of... I've met a lot of dweebs playing little playing games and playing <laughs> war games. All right, would you agree with that, Garbrook? I've met, I've met a lot of fucking dweebs, dweebs in my day. Have you, <laughs> well, I've met a lot of really cool guys. I've met a lot of really great guys. I, 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 I'm not... I would say honestly, a lot of the dweebs glee dead on guys, but a dweeb's a dweeb. You know what I mean? Like that's not that's not trying to get ourselves wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've met I've met some I've met some wet lattices. Like you know, just call like, that dweeb a dweeb, brother. <laughs> no, but like you know, someone like a stiff wind would just, would just blew them over. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like they just they just don't seem to have any drive in them. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Let's be serious. If your dad's a dweeb, you're probably going to be a dweeb as well. You know what I mean? It's just I is that is that fair to say? Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Well, no, but it's not far to say. If your dad is fucking just, uh, like, you know, one of those, like, absent-minded fucking just, uh, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, not very pleasant, not very, you know, what, if, if you're not going to produce great offspring if you're going to be, like, one of those fucking just dweebs. You know what I mean? If you're a dweeb yourself, you're probably going to produce a dweeb. Yeah? Well, that's just simply house culture, really. Because your dad yeah. does it, and you're like, oh, dad, what are you doing? Like, oh, I'm, I'm playing War. What the fuck is Warhammer? And you go and talk to him. Same reason why, like, like same, same, same why, like, 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 in most... No, I'm not saying it like that. I'm just... Um... <laughs> Well, it's not oh. fucking hereditary. You you learn to be the environment, no. you dingleberry. No, I'm not saying it like that. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not explaining myself very well. I'm sorry. Um, what I'm really trying to say is, it's part of the soul of 40k. This part of the soul is. Um, and again, you could argue the same thing with the kiff. What was the kiff? It was cannibalization of children. To me, that's it was a cannibalization of society, and that is what 40k is to me. What are what are space beans? Why do they exist? to stop the threats of the outside. They need to exist. We have to have these weapons. You know, we have to turn these... Like, you know, what was that video, the Space King one? That's a fucking nightmare fuel, man. Not gonna lie. That, that, and that's, that's, that's what Marines are. You know, a lot of them, were they willingly... Did they, did they want to become Space Marines? Probably not. You know, they are... They're sad stories, you know? And I feel like that's all... And, th- and again, this is where it kind of goes back to. What is Thatcher era... England working class background. It's poverty stricken. It's sad. It's depressing. Um, and these sort of stories with these sorts of people, it either makes or breaks human beings. Let's go back again. I was talking about Tolkien. You know, what is how many people could live through the Great War and come out oh, of it? Here. Back to World War One. It's a most full I'm, circle. <laughs> I'm sorry. But World War One and 40K are the same fucking thing. Deal with it, guys. Deal with it. Do you guys get where I'm trying to say? And I can't explain it better. I don't have. I'm not articulate enough. All I can do is spew words that are kind of related, and I hope maybe the, the, the connections that I can make, I can kind of share with you guys. That's the best I can do. And I don't think Garbo has any idea what the fuck I'm even saying at this moment. I'm, I'm just politely <laughs> staring and nodding my head. And it's like, mm, hey. uh, that's 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 very nice, James. That's very nice. So yeah, dweebs, man. I'm like, no, I'm... that's nice, hun. <laughs> okay, but uh, again, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm trying to make. I'm not, I, I, I'm, 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 I made a fucking hack of this. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, where do you want to go with this, Garb? Because is there any final words you want to wrap up on? Is there anything? I just, honestly, I I hope, I would love this not to be the end of Games Workshop. I feel like there's still a lot of promise in the setting. However, I don't, I feel like that's slipping away because what mm-hmm. makes well, they're 40K, 40K they're, they're is, literally you know, just cutting off their own feet at this point, which is like, yeah, I mean, they're going to do it. You can't stop them. Like their, their stock is basically a fucking heart monitor right now. Dink, 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 up and down. Yeah. It's just like, you know, they're, they're going to do their dumb shit. And if they really want to completely scorn and piss off the majority of their player base, let them do it and they'll learn. I mean, you yeah. literally, you literally have to let let the kid put the fork in the light socket and shock the shit of themselves, let them learn. Like, yeah, I fuck her like a bitch, does it? You shouldn't do that. But they've done this time and time again, and you know what? The pay pigs will just keep fucking going, and that's kind of what's annoyed me about Games Workshop an awful lot. I've I've met so many people that just that have thrown up been like absolute bitch fits over shit. Have uh, you know? I've, I've met so many people that have been like, oh my god, this is the worst thing ever. And then the new shiny thing comes out with a set of keys. It's like showing a baby a set of keys. Like, ooh, look at this. Ooh, ooh, shake the keys, shake the keys. Show them this, show them this. And what do they do? They just buy it anyway. You know? And it's just sad. And I don't feel like Games Workshop will. I, I feel like there's not enough people. There, there might be enough. There might be. It's hard to say. 
but um, it's looking less and less likely to me anyway, is I feel like it's become more and more true as well that 40k is the new 5th edition in the sense of you know, it's the one that everyone starts getting into. It's the biggest one. It's the one that, like, you know. Well, the thing is, that's that's, that's completely fine. I, I don't mind people getting into yeah. 40k. Just remember, you're here for the game. The game isn't here for you. Yeah, but I feel like more people, like you know, like yourself included, like you know, how did you get into war games? Was it 40k? I got into war games due to um, Warhammer Fantasy. Oh well, I, for me, I was I was 40k, so I was. Um, but again, like you know, do you play? Like you know, not really. Like kind of, maybe somewhere in between. But like you know, for you, it's mostly Legion. Let's be serious. Well, I you think Legion. It's, it's the thing. I don't think the setting superior. I think it's a superior war game. Where yeah, you know, compared to 40k, you know, it's my turn. Then it's your turn, and I obliterate half your force. You can't react. You have to try and withstand the wave of gunfire. With Legion, you you it's, it's squad to squad to squad to squad, and you can react to the battlefield. But that's neither here nor there. But I don't mind, like, people like, oh, you know, the whole thing here is, LOL, you hate women. We, no one oh, yeah. hates women. Uh, honestly, the, the, sure honestly, the guys, get, the, the guys, no, 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 the guys getting mad in the first place aren't women. They're men in dresses to start off <laughs> with. Uh, you know, it's just... <laughs> You know, this isn't gum go. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, they're they are men who are finding their true selves. Um, yeah, and that self is a lie. Anyway, uh, so it's just <laughs> you know, no no one cares about women. Like, like there's this one. What, what's her name? Yaz Cool on Twitter, who's like a fucking lewd female 40k fan. Like, they've always Jeez. been there. They've always been female fans yeah. of, of this game there's nothing nothing the fact is the, the biggest problem is that they're trying to shoehorn and retcon things that sh- don't bring it up on don't do it on stream you'll, you'll fucking get <laughs> hit with a fucking no no i'll show you one so there's a guy r a r u i i i hired i hired this guy how do you spell his name uh, i don't know i'm following him so i am um i um got artwork commissioned off of me i got him to do got my character gobby from oh gobby Spelljammer game, and he does like a lot of like good 40k stuff. So he does. Mm. Honestly, his price was really good. It was like 100 quid per, plus post, uh, and he did like the artwork. And I thought it came out really cool. Yeah, this is this is the guy, and he's forever getting into issue because he does like female. He, he paints like he draws like female marines and stuff, and he does a lot of good art. Mm. And honestly, I think his artwork looks really like it's he's well put together. Like you know, I think he does a good job at it. But like I'm forever seeing people scream at him. Because he's like he's like drawn like like there's one of his examples. He's forever doing like you know female marines, but I've never seen this guy like want that in gore. He's just doing like pinup models. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean he, like, basically he he's generating buzz and generating income for himself. That's what every artist does. Yeah, like I I've never seen this guy ever promote or say. I want female space marines like ever you know it's just not what he does but i see people shouting at him because he's doing it all the time like i've got no issue with this guy like, I, to me like, if you want to develop like look i saw a lot of pinup models guys okay um and that's another thing as well i saw a ton of female models by the way i probably sell about the same amount of male models as i do female models like it's not far off i'd say i maybe do about 60 percent male models 40 percent female you know and again that's i i have sold more female models so i i refuse to believe that this is oh you hate female you hate women you know you hate their femoids where you know I, I just don't believe that this is the issue people are upset because it's a lore issue people are upset because they know the way it's, the world well, it's is lore it's up. lore and effort it's just lazy it's, 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 it's culture war shit. It's we've seen this happen time and time again. People just don't want people don't want what happened to Star Wars to happen to 40k, you know? And the type of people that are interested in 40k are for the most part diehard fans, you know, and they don't want it. They have seen it and they just don't want it. And what 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 do you mean you care about something what do you mean you don't want uh a, a blatant cancer to infect them what do you you know what i mean like what do, what do you mean why well, you, obviously you're bigoted mm. man i don't know what you're talking about I, like i'm sick of this where do you want to go is there anything else you want to bring up everything is cringe yeah everything's fucking done for um do you think there's any coming back from this garbo or is gw showed the colors we'll just see what they do I mean, we've, 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 we've always known that GW is going to pull... Everyone pulls this shit at least once to try and test the waters and see if... It- I 
I thought it was. I thought it was games were. I thought honestly, war games were safe because they knew that the money wasn't there for them. I think they would do this if the money was there. Easy. I think Games Workshop would. Do, games Workshop has always, always been about the money. You know, money speaks. And if they don't believe that the money's not in it, they're not never going to do it. But obviously, they feel like the money is in it now. And I feel like the reason why is because they want to get a cleaner image for a much more normy audience for an Amazon show. That's my personal belief on the situation, you know. Um, I mean, what they should have done is just keep keep their current status quo, and when the mo- and then the show comes out, they'll fall in love with the established verse, and they'll pull more people in that way. <laughs> well, you would think that would be the case, but no, no. Oh, you know what it is actually. Fuck, I forgot to say to you. Sure, do they not have quotas though for like Amazon shows where you have to have like thirty percent women now? I don't know. I think it is actually. Hold up, let me get this up. Uh, Amazon show requirements diversity. Let me Google this inclusion policy. Here we go. Oh wait, let's see. Is it? it, Do they have like a percent? Because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing something like this a while back. Uh, No, that's inclusion policy first. No, I'm not seeing anything. But I think that I honestly think that could be part of it. Um, I'll need to. I'll see if I can find it, and I'll flash it up on screen. If I can't find it, then it's probably I'm probably misremembering. Misremembering, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, anything else? Anything else worth bringing up? No. I'm just tired. Or, yeah, yeah I'm, I feel tired as well. Do you want to record another another video, or is that all done for the day? Cause, um. Like, I, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, Garb. Garb just is cut. Garb says, I'm tired. And then just starts. To, it's like, what are you doing? Tonight? That's well. not what I said. I forgot. Do, do, do your outro, you fucking. Right, woman. okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, do you guys want to buy models from me instead of Games Workshop? Because that would be pretty cash money of you. Also, my models are a fraction of the price of Games Workshop. Also, I have some sci fi gothic. Um, Let's just call them models. That's a thing. Links to that down below. Um, Garbo, you've got veil riders. You're so we so 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 I currently put out a- AV2, which is the active version two of the veil riders game in the CC manual. It's going to be there for a while. Uh, we I I refined the chase mechanic quite a bit, um, and then I put in more rule clarifications, a lot more items again because I have a problem. Uh, some more artwork, and then more or less. Do you let's think V? Do you think V three will be in print? Um, I'm hoping so. It would be nice if, if AB3 is in print because I should have the last couple dwarf images and as well as because I want because I want to put it in print. We have all the uh, portraits portraits of the gods yeah. done and hopefully AB3 oh, did, will be oh, in print. Garbo, mm. George Bush make the cut? Yes, he made. No, not not as a god. <laughs> I, I, I put that fuck. Okay, <laughs> shock and awe is in there. George Bush Senior is not a pantheon person okay. no no is it did you make a god of shock at all look bro the items in there all right that the bad you're going to get god damn it uh, also um i have been getting a ton of emails from people asking that they want to help write burger punk um so we tried to do burger punk before oh, ages ago and i feel like we got too many people involved and that's kind of what fucked it originally and um, we had so many people doing so many different things all working on the one document and it just turned into a fucking mess and i feel like that'll play happen the same way um I might. There's been a good few people that are like begging that please, I want to work on this. This sounds so cool. Um, we'll just find out. We'll just find out. Um, I think it's really good. <clears throat> the rules are about a third of the way done. I would say about the the core rules is about a third, but it's still got a very very long way to go. Um, and so I'm doing the rule book. Garb is doing the setting book. So he is, and the setting book's going to have the big giga hex map on it and all that jazz. So I think that's us. Um, links to all that stuff down below. Check out Gumroad. Check out uh, the Bastard Princess. We've got other stuff for free. That's us. Hope you guys enjoyed and scream at us while we're bigots and incels down below. You guys hate mind. women, but you're married. Uh, but fuck you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Need women? Hey, you don't have sex. I have a child. I have a child. I completed the entire <laughs> sex circuit. It's come full circle. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. I love that one. It's like, you're an incel. It's like, I do have a child. It's like, incel doesn't mean not anymore. It's like, okay. I'm clearly sure. not celibate because I fucked. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Anyway, see you guys about. Um, hopefully this is the end of Games Workshop shitting themselves and gaslighting us, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Bye-bye. Gaslight Garbro Girl Boss. Whatever the hell. <laughs>